Hello guys, welcome back. Now in this tutorial, we are going to create another record triggered flow, but we will add some more complexity into it. Okay, so let's go ahead and take a look at our requirement. So the requirement is we have to develop a process when an opportunity is created with amount more than 500,000. So whenever the amount is more than 500,000 or let's say equals to 500,000, then we need to create a task inside that opportunity and assign it to the account owner. Okay, so whoever is the account owner, that is whom we need to assign the opportunity to. Now, the next thing we need to do is also we need to create a chatter post inside the same opportunity. Okay, so inside the same opportunity, we are going to create a chatter post and the chatter message will say like a big deal opportunity has been created. Please connect with opportunity and try to close this ASAP. So that is what the post we are going to be writing. So there are two things we're going to be doing whenever an opportunity gets created, which is greater than or equals to 500,000. First, we will create a task under the opportunity and also we are going to create a chatter post as well. So these are the couple things that we are going to be doing in this particular tutorial. So let's go ahead and get started on our requirements. So the first thing is I'm going to go back to my Salesforce and uh, we are going to go over to the flows. So as you know, this, pop uh, this particular flow will also get uh, triggered on creation only. So we are not triggering the flow when a opportunity is updated, only when the opportunity is created and the amount on that opportunity is greater than 500,000 or equals to 500,000, that's when the flow will be triggered. So I'm gonna go over to the flows here and then I will click on this new flow button and I'm going to choose the second option called record triggered flow and hit the next here. I'm gonna choose the free form and uh, select the object whose records triggered the flow when they are created, updated or deleted. The record which will trigger this flow will be of the type opportunity. So we're going to go ahead and select opportunity here. Now, when do you want to trigger the flow? Only in the case of creation of that opportunity record or whenever it is updated or you want to do it both or you want to only do it when it is deleted. So I'm going to choose when the opportunity is created and what is the entry condition? So the entry condition here would be that only on those records where the amount, where the amount on the opportunity, so you know there is a field called amount, when it is greater than or equals to 500,000, that is when I want to trigger this particular flow. So the when the opportunity amount is less than 500,000, then I don't want to do anything. But only when the amount is greater than 500,000, that's when I wanted to trigger it. Okay, so this is the entry condition. Now, optimize the flow for fast field updates or actions and related records. Now, in this case, we are not making any change to that existing opportunity record, right? What we are doing is we are creating a chatter post and we are creating a task which is a related to this opportunity. So I'm going to choose this second option because update any record and perform actions like send an email. This is more flexible flow runs after the record is saved to the database. So once the opportunity has been successfully created, that's when I wanted to go ahead and create my task and post it to the chatter. So let's go ahead and hit the done here. So I have displayed my condition. So opportunity record is created whenever the amount is greater than or equals to 500,000. Now, what do you want to do? Now, in this case, I want to create the record. Okay, so I'm going to go ahead and create the record. So here I'll say create task. And uh, how many records you want to create? Only one task record, right? So I'm going to go ahead and select this option. How to set the record field values. So I'm going to go ahead and you says separate resources and literal values. So you can either use this one. Okay, I'm going to choose because I'm to set up the values on that task, right? So which object are you going to create? I'm going to create a task object. So I'm going to choose the task here. And then there are certain fields on the task records. There's a field called activity date. Now you can go ahead and set up the activity date based on the opportunity closing date. Okay, so this is the 
activity date, let's say I'm going to go ahead and choose it from the record. On the record, there is a close date. So let's go ahead and choose the close date as the due date, activity date. Next one, the another field that is available is the description. Okay, so on the description, I am going to say, please work on closing this big deal opportunity. This is what the description is. And then the next one, the another field on the task is you can say, is it, is it, is it reoccurrence? Is a reminder is set now? Who is going to be the owner of this task? Now the owner of this task, I can choose it to either the opportunity owner or I can choose it to the account owner. So here, if you go back, you can see here, it says, create a task inside the opportunity and assign it to the account owner. So let's go ahead and go back here. So the owner ID, let's see if there is a assigned one, assigned to, so who do I wanna assign it to? So I wanna assign it to the related record. So the on the record, I will go over to the account record. So on this record, I'll go over to the account and on the account, who is the owner? So that is going to be the, that is going to be the owner ID on that task. Okay, so let's go ahead and double click here. So let me go back. So I'll go over to the related account. Okay, so let me show you how I did it. So I went to the record on, from the opportunity, I went to the account record and on the account, there is this owner ID. So that is the, going to be my ID. So this is going to be the, so from the record, I went over to the related account record. From there, I checked up the owner and then that's the ID. So the next thing that I'm going to do here is the other field is it has to be related, right? So I have a field called related. So what ID means what ID is for what this task is related to. That's the opportunity ID. So I'm going to go ahead and set the what ID would be equal to the opportunity ID. So here I'm going to go ahead and go back to my record here and the ID of this opportunity that is which this task would be related to. Okay, so here you can go ahead and select the opportunity ID and that is which this task will be related to because we want to create the task under this opportunity record, not independently. So we have set up the who is going to be the owner of this? Who is going to be the act? What is going to be the activity date, description, etc.? Now, if you wanted to set up, let's say, the subject on the task, so you can go ahead and uh, select the subject here, and I'll call this as a big deal alert. That is going to be the subject on it. Now, if there is any other field you want to set up, so on the task, you have all these fields available. So, priority, I want to set it to very high. So, that's going to be the priority on the task. And uh, if there is any other field besides the priority, you want to set up the reminders, all of that. So status, uh, what is going to be the status on the uh, on the task? So here I'm going to say the status is going to be either you're going to put it as not started or in progress, or whatever. So I'm going to go ahead and say not started. So these are the tasks that I'm going to create. Okay, so the first thing what I did is I am creating whenever the opportunity gets created with the amount greater than or equals to 500,000. The first thing I'm going to do is I am creating the task record. Now the values on the task record, I have fetched some from the opportunity that created from which we are triggering this whole flow. And some we are getting it from from the opportunities account. So you can see here, the activity date is equals to whatever is the close date on the opportunity. Description is a simple text. Owner ID is going to be equals to the account owner. So that is what the owner ID is. What ID means is which this task is related to whom. So this task falls under this opportunity. So we are relating this task to the opportunity record. The subject is going to be this. Priority is going to be high. The status is going to be this. Okay. Now, this is the first thing we did. Now, the second thing it is asking us, we need to create a chatter post inside the same opportunity. And the chatter will just say that, hey, a big deal opportunity has been created. Please connect with the opportunity and try to close this. So that is what the chatter message would be. So going back here, there is a action component. So let's go ahead and drop this action component. And here under the action, there is a chatter. So you can see here, 
there is a post to chatter automatically action is available so let's just go ahead and click on post to chatter now you can even have added an email alert here as well so if you have created an email alert you could have chosen that email alert just like we did it in a regular screen flow so here i am choosing the action as post to chatter so we can say post to chatter about big opportunity okay so this is going to be my uh, label and uh, what is the message so i can say big deal alert please work with opportunity team to close this opportunity asap okay so this is going to be the message now target name or the id so who's this opportunity uh, this chatter is related to so it is going to be related to this particular record opportunity record and which one id okay so i'm going to go ahead and choose the id field of this opportunity record okay so there is a record dot of id field and that is nothing but the id of the opportunity record okay so this is the opportunity id now if you wanted to go ahead and specify any of this we're going to leave it as it is and hit the done here so now this is the action so after creating record this is another thing i want to do is I wanted to create a task and I wanted to post to chatter as well. Hit the save button. Now this is going to be the big deal alert. That is the name of the flow. Hit the save and uh, I'm going to go ahead and activate it. This is my flow that I have created. Now we have to test this flow. Okay, we want to make sure that this flow is getting triggered whenever you create an opportunity record which amount is greater than or equals to five thousand dollars so now i'm going to go ahead and go over to the opportunities here and uh, i'll click on the new opportunity because the flow is only going to get triggered on new records not on the existing records i'm not the flow is not going to be triggered on update updating the record so the opportunity name i'm going to call it as uh, we're going to call it as tesla new new factory and the amount on this is 500 let me go ahead and say 550 and then closing date let's say we pick up is 28th it's a required field everything else stage is required so i'm going to say prospecting and uh, that's it hit the save now there is an error here it is saying the big deal alert process failed invalid cross reference id assigned to id is blank okay so let's go back to our flow there is an error it's completely okay this is the error so we have the error over here okay so there was no account id right so let's just leave it let's go ahead because there was no account associated and all that right so either you go over to the account and create the opportunity um, or you just go ahead and uh, leave it as it is so let me just go ahead and hit the done there's nothing wrong with the flow what i'm going to do is i'm going to go over to the accounts here under the grand hotels I'm going to create a new opportunity. So here you know that there is a account ID. So here, this one, right? So there is a created by and all of that. And now if I go over, now let's create the opportunity under this account. Okay, so let's go ahead and create new. And we can call it as a new factory grant. Okay, and the amount is 550 thousand closing date is the 27th stage is prospecting and then hit the save so now the error message didn't come because what happened was we were creating an opportunity independent of the account right that's when it broke now this is what the opportunity record is so now if you go over to this opportunity record automatically you see there is a task you have an upcoming task here and uh, if i go ahead and open this about this task you can see here that it is a big deal alert that is the subject the due date is nothing but the closing date on the opportunity the related to you can see here it is related to this opportunity record the status is not started and uh, assigned to so it automatically picked up whoever is listed on the account I owner id right so that is who is the listed on the assigned to here so that is the first thing so our first task of creation is created now the second one what we had was on the opportunity if you go over again there was a chatter so if i go over to the chatter this is the message that popped up big deal alert please work with opportunity team to close this opportunity asap so our chatter has been posted and also our 
task has been created. Now, if you created an opportunity, so let's go ahead because you have to make sure because it's picking up the 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 task owner or assigned to is from their related account. So I'm going to go ahead and go over to United Oil. Now, in this case, if I let's say create a new opportunity again with the amount of 600,000. So let's say I'm creating another opportunity with 600,000. Closing date is let's say 30th January. Opportunity name, I can call it as um, new yard purchase or we can call it as new property purchase and uh, the stage is qualification and that's it. So it's a more than 600,000, it's uh, more than 500,000, close date is 130, hit the save, it is related to United Oil. Now we will see if you go under this opportunity, there is going to be a task. Yep, you have this big deal alert task created. If you go over to this, you will see that the due date on the task is the January the 30th, which is basically the closing date on the opportunity. Priority is high. It is related to the new property purchase uh, opportunity record. The status is not started. And then it has been assigned to whom? To the PICA, who is the owner on the related account. Please work on closing this big deal opportunity is the comments. Now, similarly, there is a chatter as well. So this is the chatter message. If the opportunity was less than 500,000, then none of this would have happened, okay? Now, if I go ahead and create a brand new opportunity, and this one, I'll call it as a uh, expansion, okay? And amount is, let's say, 100,000 on this one. Less than 500,000, close date is 25th, stage is qualification, and then I'm gonna hit the save. Now, in this case, if you go, and this is the expansion plan, now, if you go here, there is no task got created, if you go under the chatter, there is no chatter post because the opportunity doesn't meet the criteria. The criteria is it has to be greater than 500,000 or equals to 500,000, okay? So this is another record triggered flow that we created, which does two things. It creates a task under the opportunity record and it relates that task or the assign the task to the account owner. And the second thing it does is it post the message on the chatter, okay? So this is another requirement that we worked on and I hope you guys are enjoying this and if you have any feedback, please let me know. I hope you guys have reviewed this course and if you have not, please go ahead and do it. I hope you will give me a good rating and also post a nice comment about the course. I really look forward to those. Thank you so much and I'm gonna see you guys in the next tutorial. Bye-bye, take care.